Beetlejuice is a celestial marvel that graces the night sky with its presence. This iconic red supergiant, nestled in the Orion constellation, has captured the awe and imagination of stargazers for generations. However, recent observations and updates by the world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku have stirred concern. It is believed that Betelgeuse has finally exploded. How might this explosion of Betelgeuse reshape our understanding of stellar life cycles and the forces that shape our universe? What does it mean for humans? Stay tuned to find out! Imagine looking at the night sky and spotting a brilliant star in the Orion constellation. That star is Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis. Orion is a significant constellation in astronomy, it is positioned at approximately 5 hours 30 minutes right ascension and zero declination. It derives its name from the legendary Greek hunter in mythology. Recognized for its brightness, Orion boasts numerous prominent stars. Among these is Betelgeuse, a variable star known for its distinctive reddish hue. It ranks as the 11th brightest star globally, boasting a magnitude of 0.6. Notably, the brightest star in Orion is the Betelgeuse. It's like a shining beacon on the hunter's shoulder. Betelgeuse comes from an Arabic word, bat al jaws meaning the giant's shoulder. So, when you see this star, you're looking at the twinkling giant's shoulder in the sky. In 1603, an astronomer named Johann Bayer gave the star its special name, Alpha Orionis. Alpha means it's the brightest star in the Orion constellation. Interestingly, despite the star Rigel now being recognized as the brightest in Orion, Betelgeuse proudly holds onto its name Betelgeuse as a gigantic star, its mass range is way bigger than our Sun, about 764 times bigger. Imagine if the Sun were a tiny marble, Betelgeuse would be a huge basketball. Figuring out how far Betelgeuse is has been a bit tricky. People think it's between 500 and 600 light years away from our Sun. That's like a huge distance in cosmology. And when it comes to how bright it is, Betelgeuse is quite the shining star, with a super bright rating of about minus 6. Morgan McLeod, a researcher from Harvard University, explained that Betelgeuse is special because it's huge and not too far away. This makes it one of the few stars scientists can examine closely using telescopes on Earth and in space. So, it's like Betelgeuse is posing for a close-up picture for scientists to study. The images from these telescopes show that Betelgeuse differs significantly from our Sun's appearance. Instead of being a smooth and uniform sphere of extremely hot plasma, Betelgeuse appears as a collection of uneven boiling gas pockets, with some being quite sizable, comparable to small stars. Notably, large upwellings of hot material rise from the core to the surface of Betelgeuse. It's like Betelgeuse had some cosmic spring cleaning. One of these shells is so big that if you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you 7.5 years to go from one side to the other. These materials then cool down and return to the interior, reminiscent of the sun's cycle but on a much more intense scale, almost like the sun on an exaggerated dose of steroids. This cosmic cleansing done by Betelgeuse is what scientists call surface mass ejection SME. Betelgeuse's surface mass ejections and the sun's coronal mass ejections are similar. They both expel materials from their outer layers. Betelgeuse's ejections are linked to its convective motion, while the suns involve magnetized plasma from its corona. Despite similarities in material ejection, their causes stem from differing internal structures and processes. Betelgeuse is believed to be merely 10 million years old, a mere fraction of our sun's age and making it 50 times younger. Despite its youth, Betelgeuse has already depleted the hydrogen fuel in its core. As a result, it finds itself in the latter stages of its existence, transitioning into the red giant phase. During this stage, it utilizes helium to produce carbon through fusion processes. Betelgeuse's rapid evolutionary journey can be attributed to its initial substantial mass at birth. As noted by scientists, Betelgeuse originated as a blue-white O-type star, which belongs to the most massive category of hydrogen-burning main-sequence stars. In the realm of stars, size equates to brilliance and intense heat. 
this means larger stars shine brighter and burn hotter. However, it also correlates with faster hydrogen consumption and an earlier transition to the red giant phase. The surface of Betelgeuse could have experienced staggering temperatures of up to 89,500 degrees Fahrenheit, a stark contrast to the Sun's comparatively lukewarm temperature of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The disparity is truly monumental. According to NASA, once Betelgeuse used its hydrogen and started fusing helium, its outer layer expanded significantly from its original size. Nowadays, Betelgeuse is one of the largest stars we know, stretching more than 700 million miles in diameter. However, it's no longer as scorching as it once was. Its surface temperature is around 5,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is cooler than the Sun. Despite this, Betelgeuse outshines the Sun by a staggering 7,500 to 14,000 times. In 1836, the astronomer and mathematician Sir John Herschel observed fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness. However, he might not have been the initial observer. Betelgeuse is now categorized as a semi-regular variable star, displaying periodic changes in brightness and occasional irregular fluctuations. It typically follows a 400-day cycle and a more extended approximately 5-year cycle. However, 2019 witnessed an anomaly in its behavior. What happened to Betelgeuse? S4, S5, S9 In the past few years, Betelgeuse's conduct has attracted significant attention due to its increasingly unpredictable behavior. Throughout history, astronomers have noted the star's regular oscillation and luminosity, following a consistent 400-day pattern. It would brighten to a magnitude of 0.3 and subsequently dim to around 0.8. The cause of the fluctuations have been associated with an outer layer of the star called the photosphere. There is a visible part of this star known as the photosphere. This photosphere of Betelgeuse is where most of its light and heat are emitted. It shows convective motion, where heat is transported from the star's interior to its surface through moving gases. This causes variations in brightness as cooler gas sinks and hotter gas rises, affecting the star's appearance over time. During the autumn of 2019, Betelgeuse significantly decreased luminosity, deviating from its usual pattern of brightening and fading. In a matter of months, the star dimmed by approximately 60%, marking an occurrence now recognized as the Great Dimming. This event made the star 2.5 times fainter than any previous observations. The cause was later determined to be a massive ejection of material from the star's interior, forming an extensive dust cloud obscuring our direct view. While the dust cloud has dispersed and Betelgeuse has returned to its typical brightness, the star hasn't fully reverted to its previous state. Interestingly, its 400-day brightness cycle has now shortened to just 200 days. Betelgeuse's unpredictable behavior sparked discussions about the possibility of an imminent supernova explosion. In case you are wondering what a supernova explosion means, imagine this cosmic drama, as the star consumes its remaining fuel, its core will eventually collapse, giving rise to a black hole while simultaneously expelling the star's outer layers at speeds reaching an astonishing 25,000 miles per second. This grand spectacle is known as a supernova explosion. When it occurs in the case of Betelgeuse, it will offer a breathtaking display for Earth's observers. Given its proximity of just 650 light years, the ejected layers of gas and dust will gleam as brightly as the full moon in our sky, visible for several weeks. Certainly, this would be an exhilarating event for those who enjoy observing the night sky. The last time a neighboring star underwent a supernova was in 1604. While star explosions are a common phenomenon throughout the universe, most are situated too far away to be seen without the aid of high-powered telescopes. Supernova explosions serve as the grand finale for extremely massive stars. When these stars exhaust their core S helium, red giants initiate the process of converting carbon and oxygen into neon and magnesium, which in turn transforms into silicon through burning. As the stars progress, their cores become filled with iron, this iron accumulation in their cores triggers a supernova. Supernova 1987A witnessed in 1987 and located around 168,000 light-years away, remains the most recent supernova visible to the naked eye. This event provided valuable insights into stellar evolution. 
Earlier, in 1604, Johannes Kepler recorded the last observable supernova before that. It occurred about 20,000 light years away and outshone all other stars in the sky, even visible during the day. However, there's no evidence of these supernovas having significant effects on Earth due to their considerable distances. Miguel Montargas, a Betelgeuse expert, said that when the supernova moment arrives, the star's brilliance will be intense and vie with that of the full moon, but with a captivating twist. Take a moment to picture a staggering two-month span during which, on a clear night in the nighttime of an unlit city, with not a single cloud in sight, you could sit down and read a book, basking in the glow of the supernova. When will Betelgeuse explode as a supernova? S6 similar to the significant dimming event of Betelgeuse in 2019. Another comparable event took place in 2021 for similar reasons. Just as Betelgeuse experienced a dimming of around 60%, this phenomenon was also attributed to the presence of a cloud. Stars such as Betelgeuse are in a constant process of expelling gas and dust. Likely happen for another 100,000 years. But what's for sure is that Betelgeuse will eventually turn into a supernova. It could become a neutron star or a black hole at that point.